Hey everyone and welcome to the Nginx Beginner to Advanced course. Now this is the second major update for this course. It has been released from past two years and we have actually reached the best selling tag for field of Nginx and HTTP protocol. So this is going to be a second major update because of the change in technology as well as we wanted to improve upon the video and audio quality of our lectures. So let's go ahead and understand on what you can expect from this course. Now when you talk about a client, let's assume this is a web browser and a person types it google.com and the Google page loads. So this is what most people are aware about. But when you go into the nifty grifty details on what actually is happening behind the scenes, you will be overwhelmed. So when you look into the behind the scenes happening, when you go into a website, the very first thing that happens is the DNS lookup. Then you have the TCP three way handshake and the SSL four way handshake. Once this completes, then you get the HTTP GET request and the HTTP response. So this is like a very high level overview on what exactly happens. Within the HTTP request, there are a lot of other headers like cache control headers, host headers, compression related headers and so on. So if you know on how these things really work, then you will be a really great DevOps or a system administrator or even a solutions architect. And this will not only help you in your interviews, but it will help you understand the concepts in much more clear way. So throughout our course, we will be following the way of idle understanding so that we can actually grasp on what exactly is happening. And this is the reason why even before starting the introduction of Nginx, we have our entire section on the HTTP protocol. So before we start with Nginx, we go ahead and understand the basics of HTTP protocol and how it works. And once we have clear understanding about HTTP protocol, then our lecture starts with introduction of Nginx. So if we speak about what we are going to learn, definitely we'll be beginning with HTTP protocol. Then we'll look into the introduction and architecture of Nginx web server. After we understand this, we'll go ahead and create our first website based on Nginx as a web server. And once we do that, then we move into more advanced configuration like reverse proxies and load balancers, followed by web application firewall. We also have an entire section related to the cryptography where we talk about certificate, certificate management, SSL termination. And followed by that, we have caching proxies, static assets. And last but not the least, we also cover the security aspects related to web servers. Now, this slide is not big enough to cover what are the topics that we will be going through, but this is just the gist related to the things that we will be covering throughout the course. So along with that, we will be looking into the performance tuning and response time monitoring specifically related to Nginx web server, because once you go in production, these things will become very important. So not only this course starts from absolute basic, but we actually cover to the advanced level related to the troubleshooting that you might have to face when you're working in production. So expectation from the course, you will be able to actually design a three tier based architecture based website. So you will be able to deploy your web application firewall. You will be able to deploy your Nginx as a reverse proxy or a load balancer along with request routing, security, caching and all those things. So this will become one of the things that you will be able to do quite easily in any environment. So last but not the least, this second major update of the course is built with latest technology. So all of our course labs will be doing based on Docker. So Docker is an amazing technology and most of the organizations and startups 
are now moving to docker and this is the reason why understanding and deploying things based on docker is a very essential thing if you learn to how to deploy things based on docker it will help you definitely in your interviews but also in your existing working environment where you can deploy things based on docker so everything based on our labs will be completely reliable on docker and in at the end of the course you will be having a good grasp about how you can use docker with your nginx so this is it about this course i hope you got a gist on what exactly is covered in the course and what are the expectations so if you have any doubts questions suggestions feel free to connect us at twitter facebook or linkedin or mail us at instructors@kplabs.in i look forward to see you aboard